Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. The Lord bless you all, family, in the name of Jesus. This is about I'm seeing prison, I'm seeing scamming case, and I'm seeing your son involved. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a scamming case, I'm seeing prison, and your son being involved into some illegal things in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says it's a beautiful day and my prayer for somebody watching and connecting that at the end of this world may this particular prophetic word reach to you as one of the beautiful things that God has sent today to you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are coming across this channel, God bless you. Hallelujah. Make sure you are part of this amazing family. Make sure you are part of this amazing family. As you are liking, you are sharing, you are subscribing in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is somebody that this message is going to. It's about, I'm seeing a prison. I'm seeing prison. I'm seeing illegal things. And I'm seeing your son involved in his coming business in the mighty name of Jesus. This particular prophetic word, it might be coming to you just as a confirmation to what happened and to some others, it might be coming to you as a warning to be careful. So whenever God speak, God reveal to redeem. Hallelujah. God cannot reveal a secret. God cannot reveal something that there is no solution. So whenever God speak, God is speaking for you to be careful. God is speaking for you to watch out and stand the God for it not to come to pass. Oh, God is speaking because it's already happened. The Lord wants to clarify you that you should know that this actually what happened in the mighty name of Jesus. At the particular place of prayers, hallelujah, I saw a young man, I saw a young man that is being involved in some type of illegal thing. And this particular illegal thing, this is a spirit because this young man is very much innocent. I'm seeing this young man at times he's asking himself, why am I doing all this? Whenever he sit, he regret. But when the spirit enter, he start behaving strange. And this particular spirit is from the family. Somebody caused this family on this in this spirit in the family. And this young man is not only the one that is behaving strange. You might be hearing me now that this actually what happened maybe to your brother, your father or your son. That maybe as I'm talking to you, he's in prison or the act have just started. This is what we do. There are, there are times in life where we fight the wrong. Like we limit God. Hallelujah. There are times in life we limit God. There are some people that when they want to pray, you hear somebody praying like this. Lord, I pray for my auntie that is attacking me yesterday. How do you know it's your auntie? How sure are you she is the one? God is like a producer. You are the movie actor. Do not limit the producer. So the most of time when, when we want to pray, just tell God, Father, anyone attacking me. So allow God. God knows those that are attacking, attacking you are not the one to call God who, whom, whom to kill. Because the person you might be praying against is totally innocent. Praise Master Jesus. So this particular prophetic word is talking about this young man. This is something we need to attack. It's a seed from the family. We need to attack this seed. It's from the family. It's from the family. Praise Master Jesus. This particular seed is from the family. There are people under the sound of my voice. The moment you see your brother, your son, or whatsoever start doing such a things, there are lots of things that can push us to put our hands in evil things or illegal things. Most of the time, poverty can make you start scamming or, or start doing some type of things. Lack of unemployed can push you to start doing things that are illegal. Praise Master Jesus. The love of money can push you as a professional whatsoever to start doing the opposite because something is pressurizing you. Praise Master Jesus. And the other side, there are some type of people that they are not pressurized by anything. 
but it's just a cause it's just a cause like when the spirit entered them they start doing it when the spirit goes out they start to regret it if you have never been in a particular uh, stage or moment in your life whereby when you're standing like this you look at your mistakes in the past and you start asking yourself was i the really was i the really person that did this one like you start questioning yourself doubting yourself say no basil i'm not sure i i was on my right sense when i took this decision if you have not come at that particular moment that means there is still a long way you need to journey praise master jesus the spirit realm is real the physical is real the physical is being controlled by the spirit realm child of god the bible says the devil is ruling around like a hungry lion looking a womb to devour so unless he sees an opportunity for you he will not come in the mighty name of jesus i pray for somebody watching and connecting in the mighty name of jesus the lord says it is high time for the covenant to be broken the lord says it's high time for this covenant to be broken you might be watching me with tears on your eyes and you're saying pastor my husband is in prison my child is in prison my only brother is in prison my sister is in prison pastor actually this is not my brother this is not my sister this is not her behavior i don't know what actually came over them praise master jesus there is nothing too hard for our god to do the bible says the weapon of our warfare are not carnal so if we start fighting them physically we are fighting the wrong people all we need to do is to present them commit them into the hands of the lord for in jesus mighty name are we ready to pray i just want to share a word of prayer with somebody that may god intervene hallelujah if if this particular seed the enemy just planted to make manifest in your family i uproot it in the name of jesus if the spirit is already in you pushing you to enter into things that will lead you to prison i come against it in the name of jesus and for those that are watching me at the same pastor i already mess up as you're praying to me praying for me pastor i'm in prison i declare and i decree that let the hand of god that surpasses all human understanding rest and abide with you wheresoever you are for in jesus mighty name and the god that make a way when there seems to be no way he made a way for peter may the lord makes that same way for you for in jesus mighty name amen and amen